Stop giving people power. Protect your energy and set boundaries. I ran across this quote today. You can't keep getting mad at people for sucking the life out of you if you keep giving them the straw. This quote suggests that if someone is draining your energy or causing you stress, you must take responsibility for your actions and choices. You cannot blame others for their behavior if you continue to allow them to have a negative impact on your life. When we constantly give people the power to affect our emotions and energy, we become a victim of our own choices. We must learn to set boundaries and say no to people who drain our energy rather than continually giving them access to our emotional well-being. Here are some tips on how to stop giving people the power to suck the life out of you. Set clear boundaries. Let people know what you are and are not willing to tolerate. Be clear about your limits and stick to them. Practice self-care. Make sure to prioritize your own well-being. This could include getting enough sleep, eating well, exercising, and engaging in activities that bring you joy. Learn to say no. Don't be afraid to say no to things that you don't want to do. It's okay to prioritize your own needs and desires. Surround yourself with positive people. Seek out people who uplift you and bring positivity into your life. Spend time with people who support you and make you feel good about yourself. Practice mindfulness. Being present and aware of your thoughts and emotions can help you identify when you are starting to feel drained or stressed. This can help you take steps to protect your energy and prevent others from sucking the life out of you. Recognize your own patterns. Sometimes we may be unintentionally contributing to our own stress and exhaustion by engaging in patterns of behavior that don't serve us. For example, if we have a tendency to take on too much responsibility or put others' needs before our own, we may be setting ourselves up for burnout. By recognizing our own patterns, we can start to make different changes choices and break out of negative cycles. Understand the other person's perspective. While it's important to set boundaries and protect our energy, trying to understand where the other person is coming from is also helpful. Perhaps they are dealing with their own stress and anxiety, or they may not know how their behavior affects us. We can approach the situation with more empathy and compassion by trying to see things from their perspective. Practice forgiveness. Holding on to anger and resentment towards someone who has drained our energy can be exhausting in itself. By practicing forgiveness, we can release those negative emotions and move forward with a sense of peace and freedom. This doesn't mean we have to condone the other person's behavior or continue to allow them to drain us, but it does mean letting go of the emotional weight that comes with holding a grudge. Seek professional help. If you are consistently feeling drained or overwhelmed, Seeking support from a mental health professional may be helpful. A therapist or counselor can help you identify behavior patterns that may contribute to your stress and provide tools and strategies for managing difficult situations and relationships. Practice assertiveness. Being assertive means standing up for your needs and boundaries without being aggressive or passive. It's essential to communicate clearly and calmly when someone is draining your energy and to express your needs and limits directly but respectfully. Practicing assertiveness can help you feel more empowered and in control of your interactions with others. Take a break. If someone is consistently draining your energy, taking a break from that person or situation may be helpful. This could mean setting boundaries around the amount of time you spend with them, or taking a temporary break to focus on your own self-care and well-being. Build resilience. Resilience refers to the ability to bounce back from difficult situations and setbacks. By building resilience, you can develop a greater sense of inner strength and resourcefulness, which can help you navigate challenging relationships and situations with greater ease. Building resilience can involve practices like mindfulness meditation, gratitude journaling, or regular exercise. Practice self-compassion. When we're feeling drained or stressed, it's easy to be hard on ourselves or blame ourselves for being unable to handle everything perfectly. However, practicing self-compassion means treating ourselves with kindness, understanding, and forgiveness even when things don't go as planned. By practicing self-compassion, we can develop a greater sense of self-acceptance and resilience in the face of difficulty.